Hello, my name is Laurie Cielo. I'm the Director of Programs and Communications here at the Historical Society of Pennsylvania. One of my favorite collections here at the Historical Society of Pennsylvania are the John, John Bartram Family Papers. Uh, John Bartram was known as the uh, father of American botany. He was actually a self-taught botanist. He didn't have any formal training. Um, he came over to, uh, in Philadelphia, he bought about 100 acres of land and he decided to gather uh, specimens of uh, plants that are native to this country. While he was making this garden, he traveled all over the country collecting plants and, and different samples to bring back and inhabit his garden to show people. He kept a report of his, um, his travels in the Carolinas, Georgia, and Florida from July 1st, 1765 to April 10th, 1766. A lot of the entries are, are sort of short and just say what the weather was like and what sort of plants he found, but other entries are a lot more descriptive and he talks about the, the beauty of the, the nature around him. Uh, for example, 21st, cool, clear morning, white frost, then, then warm, fine day. 22nd, pleasant morning and fine, warm day. Continued my journal. The other sections are more detailed and have more description. This one here, which is dated on the 7th, he writes, rode over much good land and fine bottoms and by very fertile hillsides. Saw the sugar maple, thermometer 90 degrees. Along John Bartram's travels, in addition to keeping a diary and a log, he also drew a lot of, um, drew a lot of drawings um, of what he saw along the way. Um, most of the drawings are plants, but there are some animals, um, some insects, and, and other types of drawings. And what I like about these drawings is, that, is the detail that they have. Um, you can see on the drawings here when he drew a plant, he, he didn't just draw the plant itself, but he would draw all the little sections of the plant, the leaves, the seeds, the roots, in different stages of the season, uh, showing the buds closed and showing them open. Um, even with uh, the picture here of a butterfly, he shows all the different angles of the butterfly from um, up above and from the side, um, showing all the little pieces of everything. The thing that I think is interesting about this collection is that it shows what um, America, what the United States was like so many years ago. Um, right now we live in, you know, I live in Philadelphia and everything is sort of covered over with sidewalks and uh, parking garages and skyscrapers and row houses. And it's neat through this collection, through his diary and his records, through these drawings, to see what America was like at that time in history.